presentation of the NBA. Boston, Massachusetts, the destination for the Heat. One of the most fierce competitors in the entire league. Jimmy Butler has no quit. And he's got his team ready to play as they get pumped up before the tip-off against the Celtics. Heat, Celtics, coming right up. Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thanks very much. Well, the Celtics have dialed it in defensively. Coach Ime Udoka says it feels like we engulf teams and suffocate them with our size and length. We're coming out focused and prepared. Everybody's taking the challenge and embracing it. Kevin, all yours. Well, defense, Dave, can travel, and it does with them. And uh, I like that story. They're tough, there's no doubt. David, thank you. So here's Miami's starting group. Kayla Martin out there with Adebayo. Then there's Oladipo. Then there's Lowry. And it's Butler in at the small forward. And for Boston, the post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. And so the tip-off. It's Miami. Brogdon against Lowry. Passes it to Oladipo. Outside, Martin. He kicks it to Lowry. Five on the clock. Miami needs to get a shot off. And there's Martin. That's good on the assist by Lowry. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Rogged in the pass to Horford. It's Williams high post. Over out of bio. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. Brogdon outside. And there's the pass to Williams. Just four to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And here's Tatum for three. Another shot. Williams can't hit. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Here's Butler, and it's blocked, and he keeps control of the ball. Here's Tatum, and the dunk by Tatum. Well, you see Jason Tatum rise above the defense and leave no doubt. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Oladipo outside. Back to Lowry. Outside Butler. To the wing right side. Williams against Adebayo. Butler on the wing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Jason Tatum. Well, he'll run through a wall to win, but sometimes Jimmy Butler can drive his coach up a wall. Despite that tendency, though, to embrace conflict, this guy is worth it. The free throw drops for Butler. 
And Greg, last season, Butler and Spolstra got into it on the sideline. We all saw it. Uh, it was an interesting moment. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a good way of phrasing it. Yeah, that manic intensity perhaps necessary at times for a player who competes as hard as Jim. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Now we know the players enjoy the rest they get during All-Star Weekend. But Greg, you think it should be moved to later in the season? I like how the current format splits up the season, but it seems more fair to hold an All-Star towards the end of the season so that voters get a more complete look at each player. Now here's Williams. He really played well in that last game against Charlotte. Here's Horford. He sinks the 11-footer. Well, you think about the evolution of Al Horford's game. Who would have thought he'd become such a knockdown jump shooter? Back to Lowry. Pass to Oladipo. Adebayo against Williams. Now, here's Adebayo. He's covered closely. The amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. Butler with the steal. Three on three from 18 feet away. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Robert Williams. Well, Victor Oladipo is unafraid in the face of contact. That's a nice move. First trip to the line for him here. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far. Sitting right around 76%. That free throw good from Oladipo. There are a few things that you love about Victor Oladipo. Number one, the energy and effort he plays with every night. His willingness to carry a load on the offensive end. But more than that, guys, it's the tone and tenor of unselfishness that he sets for this entire group. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And winning has become more consistent in Miami than ever. Jimmy Butler was acquired, made it all the way to the finals in his first year and have steadily won games each season. Lots it fly from 18. And again, it's the Heat missing. Celtics trail by three. Round with it. Now defended by Oladipo. And with the Heat, uh, GA, they've been a consistent force in the Eastern Conference. Kevin, lots of talent up and down that roster from stars like Butler and all the way down to the role players. This is just a solid team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. And so he hits both. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You take a look at the Clippers. They couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. And I think for the Celtics, they are rolling, showing a lot of belief in themselves. The fan base is energized, and we'll see if they can keep this up. Now here's Butler. A 17-point game for him in the win against Atlanta. You know what else impressed me? How infectious his tenacity was. Simply a wrecking ball on the boards, collecting huge amounts of rebounds. And slam dunk by Tatum. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. 
For Miami, they've gone two or six on the field. Oladipo outside. Pass to Buck. Back to Oladipo. Passes to Martin. Outside Lowry. Shoots over Brogdon. Rejected by Brogdon. Oh, always fun to watch Malcolm Brogdon guard a little bit. Send it back. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. The Celtics with the lead. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. Brown wishes to Williams. The little short range fadeaway off target. And it's out of bio with the ball for the Miami Heat. Heat moving the ball around. Butler passes to Autobio. The kick out to Oladipo. It's stolen by Brown. In the corner, Tatum with it. Here's Williams, and he slams it down right on top of Bam Adebayo. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Now, here's Butler. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark. Right now, he's averaging about 19 points a game. Six on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. Excellent D there from Williams. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got six points. Paul Oladipo with the ball. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. Now the pass to Martin. Here's Autobio. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. And inside is where Bam is at his best. He knows how to outwork the other guys in the paint. Pass to Williams. Back to Brogdon. Williams trying to break free. The shot by Brogdon, no good. The Heat trail by three. Adebayo passes to Lauer. Butler deciding where to go with it. Back to Oladipo. Adebayo with the elbow. Lowry has the open look. They get it back. And there it is for him. Adebayo's got his second bucket tonight. And this is the level of intensity Adebayo brings. He's terrific at channeling that energy on the offensive glass. Pass to Williams. Outside, Horford. It's Brogdon on the wing. Now recovering. Brogdon kicks to Brown. And he's good on the three ball. Five points in the game. Well, you've got to get out on Jalen Brown now. This is a young man who has shown great strides in improving his perimeter game. Timeout called the Heat. And Greg, up and down this Celtic trust, so many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. And some changes here for the Celtics. Grant Williams is checked in for Horford. Marcus Smart comes in for Jason Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Malcolm Brogdon. Now, Hero is definitely a factor in their offense, averaging 12 points a game. Down low. It's three on three on the fast break. Jofic. Good saving. Williams with the block. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Williams is running. And here's Brown outside. 
And it's slammed in by Williams. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. The Heat trail by six. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Back to Struess. Over Williams. And again, it's the Heat missing. Superb defense, guys. No way he's going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. Outside, smart. Williams in the post. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Now, Hero. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Now, Smart, he's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Inside, here's Williams. An easy two points on the way. And now a 10-point Celtic lead. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside, Hero. To the left wing. Now, here's Struess. He's covered by Brown. Six to shoot. Passes it to Hero. Wide open shot is on the money. And when you watch Hero play, it's no surprise he's a gym rat. He can score from any spot on the floor. There's the pass to Pritchard. On the wing, Williams. Williams dishes to Williams. Pass to Pritchard. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. And he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian-American head coach in any of the four major North American sports league and worked his way up from video coordinator. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. The Celtics making a switch here. Colin Aris checked in. He hits both from the strike. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Pass to Vincent. Now, here's Struess. He's covered by Brown. Struess passes to Vincent. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Smart. The Heat getting the bucket. Left side, Brown. Boston, no good that time either. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. That one falls. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. 
nightmarish clamps thus far. The other thing, I cannot be more impressed by the defense they've shown tonight. Their willingness to close on shooters, blocking shots, playing with great effort. Count it. Good. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Celtics leading by eight. To the middle. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Pritchard's got six points. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. And it's the Heat with the ball. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Fires from deep. Gallinari with the rebound. Last game for Boston. They picked up the W against Charlotte. Left side, smart. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, the pump fake by Danilo Gallinari gets that defender to bite, and now he gets to the free throw line. Boston shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The first one falls. Danilo Gallinari may be one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Because of his size, he can score on the interior post a mismatch. We know he's a tremendous shooter. Love his game. So he gets them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Here's Hero. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And there's that vertical of Hero. Gets off the floor with ease and just hammers that one down. Outside, White. Takes a three. And it's here while he nails the buzzer, Peter. Big time shot to beat the buzzer there. My goodness. Well, that's the perfect end of the quarter for them. You have no idea how much of an effect those buzzer beaters can have on a team's momentum. And so it's Boston. 13 points up at the end of the period. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And we'll be right back after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen the Celtics really take control here. An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. Celtics leading by 13. On the floor for Miami. At the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Butler in at the three slot. Now here's Tatum. This is the most they've led by 13 points. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him... You went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Now, Hero, following Al Horford's three-point attempt, passes it to Autobio. Over Horford, the shot by Autobio, no good. Boston shooting 65%, an outstanding offensive display from them. And many thought Horford's days were over after his OKC stint, but showed he can still be a difference maker in Boston. And boy, was he a huge part of their finals run. Here's Lowry after the basket by Boston. And Adebayo throws it down. Oh, perfect timing 
on that alley-oop. Adebayo has a real connection with his teammates. Lowry against Brogdon. Gallinari left side. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Gallinari's got the lead up to 13 now for Boston. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for the Heat. Horford may not be as consistent as he once was. But, Greg, he shows up when you need him the most. You know, he had several big games for the Celtics in the postseason. Great shooter who can really space the court for you. Still also a top-level defender at the rim. And he helped define their interior defense. Here's Horford following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Here's Brogdon. Good work defensively by Martin. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. The Heat making a switch here. Oladipo's checked in. Now here's Lowry after Malcolm Brogdon's miss. And the pass to Butler. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer, Lowry. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by out of bounds. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Outside Tatum. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Jimmy Butler. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the finals. Shooting two. And that one falls for Tatum. And evaluating defenders goes well beyond blocks and steals. So, Doris, when you're doing a game, what are some of the things that you look for and that teams are looking for? Activity, attention to detail, deflections. Is the person switchable? Can they guard the elite wing scorers? In addition to size and length, do they have lateral quickness? So many things go into quality defense. And so Tatum nails them both. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. G.A., think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum. An incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. Here's Tatum following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Here's Brogdon. And he banks in the lane. And the Celtics lead by 13. Malcolm Brogdon a little bit crafty on the interior, getting that one down. The Heat have gone four of six in the field here in the second. Outside Lowry. Pass to Butler. Here in the second quarter, just over three and a half minutes played. And the man who many consider the greatest Raptor of all time, Kyle Lowry. He said he plans to return to retire in Toronto someday. He's already had a street named after him there. And in time, probably a statue in his honor as well. And the first one drops. Lately, as we've seen, Doris, a few small market teams stockpiling picks to the extreme. 
What do you think of that strategy? Well, the organization that is fully committed to stockpiling picks is clearly the Oklahoma City Thunder. We have yet to see them come out on the other side and build a contending team. Not a small market team, but look at the Miami Heat. They refuse to lose at any cost. They're always looking to win, and I certainly like that mentality. Now, here's Brogdon. This game at 12. Pass to Williams. Over, out of bio. The shot, no good. Now the Heat take it the other way. Now, here's Lowry. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Yeah, don't forget how great he was drawing contact and getting himself to the free-throw line. Picked up a ton of easy points there. Here's Tatum. 11-point game. Horford, no luck. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And here's Brown outside. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got six rebounds here tonight. Oladipo misses. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. It's Brown with the drive. Outside to Brogdon. And stolen by Butler. In transition. Here comes Miami. A pull up. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. An outstanding athlete for a player of his huge build. Adebayo will bang and bump with the best of them. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, Adebayo. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Austin leading by 10. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down hard. Well, how about Jalen Brown in transition? A phenomenal finisher in the open floor. For Miami, they've gone 4 of 8 so far here in the second quarter. Oladipo outside. Martin, the pass to Autobio. Williams with the block. Brockton outside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. For Malcolm Brockton, he comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. And while Malcolm earning his degree plus a master's while in college, his dad, brother, lawyers, his mom involved in higher education, Brockton may be the smartest guy in the NBA. That free throw good from Brogdon. And Brogdon traded over the summer to the Celtics. I'm interested to see how he'll fit with the rest of the Celtics guards. They certainly have a deep rotation now and a lot of flexibility. Now, here's Oladipo. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Tatum with it. And it's Martin picking him up. Tatum kicks to Horford. The feed to Williams. And Adebayo sends it back. And a menace defensively. Adebayo with the swat. He, he's an all-defensive team member for a reason. Well, they're passing to Lowry. Passes it to Martin. Back to Lowry. Williams with the block. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. The Heat trail by 17. 
They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now a timeout called by Miami. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive ability. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. The Heat making a switch here. So it's Miami now. Will it go? The shot by Autobio, no good. You're right, defense, it's been terrific for them. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. Williams with the block. Brown against Oladipo. Brown the pass to Williams. No good on that one. Great D that time from Adebayo. The Heat trail by 17. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's foul number two for him. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Yurt Zavini's checked in for Adebayo. Butler with the steal. Jovic. Again, the miss by the Heat. Celtics leading by 17. And there's Brogdon on the assist by Brown. Brown's got assist number five here tonight. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Vincent, the pass to Oladipo. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Kept alive. Good saving. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. And so Horford will bring it up for Boston. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Brogdon outside. In the corner, Horford with it. And it's off from three-point range. And uh, the Heat shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Here's Vincent. He's guarded by Brogdon. Vincent misses. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. To the paint. Williams can't hit. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And stolen by Horford. Nice move. That shot, no good. And the Heat going the other way now. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Back to Oladipo. The rebound by the Celtics. Brown's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Tatum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. In examining his numbers this season, we can see that he's been an exceptional free throw shooter right around 85. And that one falls for Tatum. What I love about Jason Tatum, guys, he's already an all-star. But that desire, that hunger, that thirst to be great remains with this guy, and he continues to improve. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Grant Williams comes in for Williams, and Smart subbed in for Al Horford. The Heat also changing it up. Max Truce has checked in for Jimmy Butler, and it's Tyler Hero in for Victor Oladipo. And so Tatum nails them both. The Heat trail by 21. Vincent the pass to Hero. Here's Vincent. The 
the pass to Yurtsevin. Jofic finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Brogdon looking it over. Kicks to Williams. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to. To blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Tatum. White comes in for Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Brogdon. Can't hit from the corner. Celtics leading by 19 points. White dishes to Williams. Pritchard gets the bucket. Pritchard's got eight points. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Miami's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. Here's Vincent. Top of the key, Hero. Pass to Struis. Clock is at three. And it's sent back by White. That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. Pass to Pritchard. Back to White. And there's a minute 45 left now here in the second. Williams for three. And it's hauled in by Hero. The Heat trail by 21. Out to the right wing. Here's Struis. Good saving. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Yurtsevin's got his first two points. The Celtics shooting in the second quarter around 42%. It's White on the wing. Here's Pritchard. He's got eight. In the corner, smart with it. Outside, White. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but uh, he couldn't capitalize. Stolen by Smart. Down low, here's Pritchard. Good, and Smart gets the assist. He's got ten. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. Outside, Hero. Pass to Vincent. It's Saban. Gallinari are recovering. Yurtsevin passes to Vincent. Shot clock at six. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And, and we've just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. Both those turnovers could have been avoided. Kayla Martins checked in for the Heat. Celtics leading by 21. And here's White. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Here's Williams. Miami grabs the miss. Yurtsevin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And Derek White picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Smart against Hero. The pass to Vincent. Shoots over Brogdon. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Austin on top, running away with this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. And it's so good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. 
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He had 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 block. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Down in the paint, they're doing everything right. Seeking out high percentage looks. So far, the defense hasn't had any answer for that. And we'll see if those adjustments that the coaches are making at halftime. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but you got to know when to get away from it. They didn't. At least two of the first half. Hopefully they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And Brogdon has got the ball here for Boston. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. And it's Brogdon in at the one spot. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. Oladipo with the block. Well, how about the athleticism of Victor Oladipo twice on the pipes? Lowry passes to Oladipo. Here's the floater. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Horford. And, and even when the stats aren't there, Horford still just finds a way to have an impact on the game. Al is such a high IQ player, right, G.A.? He always puts himself in the right position. He's an exceptional defender. He's cross-positionally able on the defensive end. He can space the floor as a three-point shooter. You can put him at the four or five spots. So valuable. The Heat have been coming through at the charity store. They've made seven of their eight attempts. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. He throw good out of bio. And he can't hit the second. Austin leading by 20. Outside, Horford. Tatum kicks to Horford. To the inside, here's Brown. Good on the shot. Brown's got nine. Well, this is an example of the court awareness we talk about with Al Horford. This guy's a very willing passer. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Oladipo outside. Pass to Martin. Knocked away. Brown against Oladipo. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. How about the strength on the finish? Jalen Brown showing real muscle. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage.
Uh, how exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dunk the basketball. Now, here's Lowry. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16.5 points a game. To the paint. Here's Martin, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Brogdon outside. Outside Tatum. Adebayo against Williams. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. The Celtics have gone 2 of 5, shooting here in the third quarter. Rodgen the pass to Tatum. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Lowry with the ball. Now guarded by Tatum. Tatum against Lowry. Oladipo outside. Outside Lowry. Five to shoot. Over Tatum. Offensive rebound. Out of bio. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. Tatum on the wing. Feeds it to Williams. It's tipped. Stolen by Martin. In transition, here comes Miami. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Adebayo. Butler's got his second basket of the night. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. Now, here's Brogdon. He's got seven. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad, but that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. The Heat trail by 20. Oladipo outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, you can see that Oladipo has the ability to get himself to the interior, and he's never going to shy away from contact either. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? And they've also been scoring on the Take break, break with how Take difficult it is to get Two buckets shots. in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. That free throw missing. A 
and he's good on the second. And now the first timeout called here for Boston. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Celtics leading by 19. Brogdon outside. Brown against Oladipo. And it's Williams with the jam. Yeah, he is a budding prospect. I like whenever Williams shows that determination on offense and it looks like he wants to just take over. The Heat have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half for two of eight. Outside Lowry. Back to Oladipo from outside the arc. And again, it's the Heat missing. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make-all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. Floats it up for Horford. And the dunk by Horford. Malcolm Brogdon just so savvy. He's got size, strength, and vision. Nicely done. Miami has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside Butler. Back to Oladipo. Right side Butler. Ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Tatum. Logged in the pass to Horford. Nifty move. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Horford's got four this quarter. Well, there isn't a shot Al Horford cannot make. And on the interior, that's easy work for him. Martin inside. Working on Horford. And Adebayo throws it down. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Ogden against Lowry. Pass to Brown. Inside. Here's Tatum. And that one hits back iron. Heat shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. To the middle. The shot by Autobio, no good. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. Second chance shot. Brown. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You see Jalen Brown's length anticipation on the boards. This guy has just got everything you need to be a consistent rebounder. He's made all three of his free throws so far. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Grant Williams is checked in for Williams. Smart comes in for Tatum. And it's wide in for Brogdon. Max Truce is checked in for the Heat. Tyler Hero comes in for Oladipo. Free throw good from Brown. And uh, Miami shooting a low 30% mark from the field. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. The Celtics have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. White the pass to Horford. Back to White. Outside, Smart. Just five to shoot. And the three off target. Miami's gone 1-2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Well, we know how Tyler Hero's a bucket. But still, lots of room for growth. Last season, the sixth man of the year winner. He really did struggle, though, in the postseason. Yurt Savini's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Now a timeout called by Miami. And Greg, you look at the playoff shooting percentages for Hero, tailing off from his regular season numbers. And Kevin, that's not uncommon for a younger player, but the playoffs are what matters. And to be a star, that's when you've got to deliver. Yurtsevin with it. 
He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And Derek White picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Vincent. White covering. Four on the clock. Good saving. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. White looking around. Passes to Horford. Back to White. Here's the three. Rebound by the Heat. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Kalinari, he's checked in for Al Horford. And Miami has possession. Poke loose. And stolen by White. You're smart. And Adebayo sends it back. The Heat have been shooting right around 75% of the line. 9 of 12 so far. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. So he comes up empty, missing both. Boston's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Butler against Williams. There's Brown with the three. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Vincent, guarded by Smart. Vincent, the pass to Struth. And it's blocked by Brown. Wow, twice on the pipe. Jalen Brown with a message for the offense. Nice. Down low, here's Gallinari. And Gallinari throws it down. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Miami's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And there's the pass to Autobio. Over Gallinari. Miami no good on that time either. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Williams for three. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And it's Drews missing. Boston shooting 37% so far in the third quarter. And they're not satisfied with this lack of offensive execution. And yes, it's good. Smart's got five points so far. Well, you know Marcus Smart understands how to use his body inside, and I just love how he goes right up with the shot. The Heat shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. Knocks it loose. Here's Vincent. White covering. And it's good. Two points. Vincent's got his second bucket of the night. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. Team might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Pass to Vincent. Now, here's Struess. We've got 155 left in the third. Here's Butler. And the shot is long. 
Boston shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Left side, Williams. Smart on the wing. Here's White. And a miss there on the triple. And so here is Miami. Hero on the wing. Good, and Butler gets the assist. That's now eight points for Tyler Hero. Just really smart distribution from Jimmy Butler right there. He's putting a bigger emphasis on getting his teammates involved. White dishes to Smart. It's Brown on the wing. No good with the triple. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Miami. He makes one of two that time. Celtics leading by 23. Outside, White. Williams against Hero. In transition, here comes Miami. What a terrific move that was. Hero's got 11 points. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. to the paint. Here's Williams. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Jimmy Butler. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Williams. Celtics making a switch here. Ogden's checked in. And Williams drops them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Pass to Struess. Back to Lowry. Sixteen seconds left to play in the third. They grab their own miss and slam dunk by Butler. Never one to shy away from contact. Willing to mix it up on the glass. Go to work, Jimmy Butler. It's stolen by Struess. Hero, that's a two-pointer. The shot, no good. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Boston Celtics. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish um, play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. The wing set for him, Hero and Butler. Martin is out there with Adebayo. And it's Lowry in at the one. Oh, 
Here's Butler. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Jason Tatum. And so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft in particular looks very strong. Absolutely. Anytime you got just a couple potential stars, but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special draft. First free throw is good. But Jimmy Butler is one of those guys whose work ethic seems to permeate an entire organization. There's the competitive spirit, the will to win. Those things always resonate with his teammates. And so Butler nails both of them. And Brogdon has got the ball here for Boston. They have a 19-point lead. Smart on the wing. Driving to the basket. Poked away. And the call will be against Al Horford. That'll be his second foul of the game. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. The Heat trail by 19. Lowry finds Martin. Heat moving the ball around. Lowry with the ball. If you're going to play for this team, you've got to be willing to mix it up on the defensive end. And Jason Tatum gets in the space of the shooter. That's nice. And slam dunk by Tatum. And he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. He shooting 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showings. Pass to Autobahn. Back to Lowry. Now Hero. The pass to Martin. Outside Butler. Lock at six. For three. Offensive rebound. Martin. Good work defensively by Smart. Austin leading by 21. In recent years, Doris, we've really seen the Players Association stepping up and address player needs and, at the same time, global social issues. Kevin, it's been absolutely inspiring to see the players use the tools they have at their advantage and their disposal. They want to create needed change, represent themselves, their communities, their organizations. Leadership at its absolute finest. What I really love about this kid, you know, Williams is a, he's physical, he's explosive, and yes, he plays above the rim. He, he just brings that nastiness to the game. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's foul number two for him. The Heat making a switch here. Oladipo's checked in. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Adebayo finds Lowry. Back to Adebayo. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes the three. And Boston with the rebound. Williams has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Horford. Martin with the block. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by Martin. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Like we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect. Also how you Shoot communicate two. with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. 
free throw, good. Out of bio. No good on the second free throw. Celtics leading by 22. Tatum down low. Covered by Mark. Tatum's shot is off. Miami's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Hero kicks to low. Up top, Hero guarded by Horford. The kick out to Oladipo. From outside, off the mark. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy. And Adebayo throws it down. This is the benefit of having an athletic big man. Adebayo doesn't need help in the open court. He can handle the break on his own. Brockton finds Horford. Now here's Williams. He's guarded by Adebayo. Outside, Smart. Six to shoot. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Oh, Marcus Smart, a tenacious defender, which doesn't always show up, I think, sometimes, Doris, on the statistical sheet after the games. Well, and in fact, Kevin, different teams have different defensive metrics trying to measure that impact. All you have to do, though, with Marcus Smart is watch the guy work on that end. The way he tracks the play, the way he anticipates, just the energy he brings on the defensive end changes the equation. The first free throw is good. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team but hate to play against. Yeah. And teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. And so, Smart nails both of them. Last year, as we know, the NBA, Doris, named the members of the 75th anniversary team. Any players that were missed that you think should have been on that list? I mean, the one guy that comes to mind immediately is Klay Thompson, who will go down as one of the great shooters in NBA history. The problem for voters, I think, is the challenge of weighing the accomplishments of prior generations with what we are witnessing today. It is a challenging vote. There's no doubt Klay will be top 100 when he comes in 25 years. Two points. That one goes. You know, when Williams gets positioned inside, he just looks to dominate physically, and then he shows you the skill set on top of it. And there's the call on Malcolm Brockton. That will get him his fourth foul of the game, and due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. drops for Kyle Lowry. Boy, Kyle Lowry, you can't help but notice the frame, right? He is a bit undersized, and yet here is a guy who has been a consistent two-way force in the NBA, has truly had a remarkably consistent career. Brown is checked in for the Celtics. And Brogdon has got the ball here for the Celtics. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. He kicks it to Horford. And Doris, in a time where we see so much international conflict, Commissioner Adam Silver has said that shared loves and appreciations, including sport, can bring us all together. It's a nice thought. It's a wonderful thought, Kevin, and I think immediately to the NBA Finals, where I see representatives from so many different countries, China, Brazil, you name it, the opportunity to interact, to share our passion for the game of basketball. Listen, the hope is we can find more things that connect us than that pull us apart. Here's Oladipo following the basket by Jalen Brown. Offensive rebound. And here comes Brown. 
leading the fast break. Tatum finds Williams. Shoots over Hero. The kick out to Tatum. The three. Here's Brown. And at last, they get one to fall. Brown's got four this quarter. Outside, Hero. Oladipo against Brown. Kicks it out to Hero. Back to Oladipo. Launches it. The rebound by Malcolm Brogdon. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Buries it down low. Every guard in the NBA should have a floater game. Malcolm Brogdon goes to that aspect. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Oladipo. Tatum against Hero. Outside, Martin. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. Free throw good, Martin. So both teams making some changes here. And both free throws good for Martin. The Celtics have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Bonley. The tray. Here's Williams. Brown the pass to Bonley. They get a hand on it. Shot clock at six. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Whitey's checked in for Brown. And Miami with a change here, too. Struce is checked in. Austin's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. It's in, and he's a very efficient 5 for 6 on the game. And uh, Miami shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. Passes it to Robinson. Back to Struess. Fires it up. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Pritchard. It's stolen by Haslam. Outside Robinson. Deadman passes to Struess. Back to Deadman. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Vincent. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Williams. One shot. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. They get it again. Cornette. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. 
Yeah, the defender all over him. And he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. Miami's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Now, Struess. Robinson for three, sinks the three-pointer. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire any time you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Inside, here's White. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Struess, following the basket by Derek White. Back to Robinson. From past the arc, rebound Boston. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. It's stolen by Struess. And Robinson throws it down. Ooh, that's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And so it's Boston with it, following the score by Miami. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. So Boston ends up going with a new group. A different look for Miami. Boston with the ball. Brogdon the pass to Tatum. And good! Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his fifth assist in this one. Greg, you read about Jimmy Butler starting his own coffee company, and he did that in the NBA bubble, and he drinks, he said, about, about five cups of coffee a day. Do a lot of NBA players drink coffee to keep them going and get that extra burst? Absolutely. I, I remember drinking coffee on the bitch late in my career. Uh, it, it's kind of a comfort food. Warms you up a little bit. And all good things that can get you ready for action, I'm for See, right there on the screen and roll, Butler showing the capacity to create for others. I love that. Brogdon the pass to Williams. Brogdon kicks to Horford. And again, Boston with the triple. Well, he's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. And here is Hero. After the three-pointer from Al Horford. Outside for Lowry. Butler in the corner. Shot clock at five. Over Tatum. And it's Butler missing. Boston's gone a disappointing 2-6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Celtics. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. 
and continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Jalen Brown. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot, and he found them time and time again. That free throw good from Brogdon. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? Oh, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin I, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. <laughs> Get ourselves fired up. You game? Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that, but you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. And it's smart with the ball for the Celtics. 54 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Cornette. Deadman defending. Here's Smart. And it's Miami with the rebound. Now the pass to Struess. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Cornett. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Brogdon the pass to Smart. Right wing lets the three fly. And it's Haslam with the rebound. Lowry looking around. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it. And we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Danilo, transition, big for your team. I assume that was a big focus tonight. Yes, we want to run, and that's what we have to do every time. So that's what we did, and we played a great game. Gallo, thanks very much. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.